My name is Laura Bowman. My stage name is Laura Y. Bowman. I am a playwright, a poet, a children's author, a storyteller, an actress, and a singer. Um, I've published two books, uh, One Mirror Re Reflection of a Woman's Soul is a volume of poetry, and the other, Corner of the Sky, The Legend of the Butterfly, which is a children's story. Well, originally I started writing as a child, and, um, and I just loved fantasy. And I wrote this story about this young girl who was very plain, but when she became 16, everybody loved her. And my teacher loved this story, so I was happy. So we had another assignment. So I wrote this story about this dragon that was chasing people on a train, and I gave it to her. And she looked me up and down, and she said to me, as long as you live, don't you ever bring anything like this in my classroom again. So I didn't bring anything, and I stopped bringing everything, and I stopped writing. But the most, I think, prolific thing that happened that really, really propelled me into writing was I woke up one day, and everything in my life is fine. Uh, I was taking care of my grandmother. She was fine. I had a good job. I had a cute boyfriend. I used to party. I had... I had money, everything was fine, but I woke up one day and I was crying and I couldn't stop crying. I cried for four days straight, my eyes swollen, I didn't know what was going, I couldn't go to work. And somewhere in that period, I don't, I don't remember when, second day, third, I don't know, I picked up a pen somehow and I started writing and a poem came out and the poem told me why. I was crying. So that's what propelled me. And then after that, I just felt a spiritual connection. And um, I just felt spirit moving through me at certain times whenever I write pieces. My inspiration for writing doesn't just come from me. It's almost like it's seated in me. Um, I think it's spiritual in nature. But what I like to do when I write something is to write something that will enlighten someone, will touch someone, will help someone. Um, I write about, about many different situations. Um, about addiction. I've written about that place where people have been addicted. And um, I write so people can vicariously move through certain aspects of their life that they would ordinarily not move into. Um, you could have someone who's an alcoholic and people will tell them to go to AA and they won't go. But they might go to a play about an alcoholic and live through the drama of this particular character and after com coming home may decide maybe I need to get some help. So um, I write to do that. I write um, to a black audience. I'm not going to say I don't. But even though I write to a black audience, the type of things I write are universal. The characters just happen to have dark skin. And um, I especially like to write children's stories that give people hope and help people dream. Um, and for black children to give them self-esteem so that they can understand who they truly are and not believe they are what people have been saying they are for the last 400 years. My advice, if you're starting right now, if there's something in you that says, I want to write, but then there's always that thought that says, well, who am I? Who do I think I am? And my answer to you is you are you, and that's the best person you can be. Because if you're going to be a writer, you can't be somebody else. You have to be who you are, 
and move through your own experiences and your own life. And it's not to say that you're not going to take from other writers. I would suggest you read a lot. That will help. Okay? Um, and move toward uh, readings of the subject matter that you like, but every once in a while you can move in a different direction just to expand your horizon. And the other thing is that take what you write and understand that it is of value. Even if it's not something, quote, that's published or everybody's oozing and, and ahhing about, has nothing to do with it because writing is a process. So if you want to be a writer, write. Every day write if you can. If an idea comes to you, that idea is very valuable, so write it down. Never leave it to chance, well, okay, I'll remember it later. I've done that and I have regretted it. You will not more than likely remember the, the entire phrase. That's number one. And the other thing is, I believe ideas come and they ride on spiritual currents. So if you get an idea, write it down. Um, I had an instance where I kept hearing once upon a time over and over again and ignored it. Went to sleep, I couldn't sleep. I kept hearing once upon a time. So I screamed to the top of my lung, grabbed my pen, wrote down once upon a time after a couple of curses. Shh. But in any event, when I put my pen down, I had a complete children's story. But God's not gonna knock on your head like that always. I think that was done just to show me as a lesson, and it was a beautiful lesson, and it was a gift and a lesson. But carry a pencil and a paper with you and write. And if you can, if you, if you can, go to school for writing. There are, um, you need to go on the internet to find out whether or not there, there are workshops because some places can be expensive, but this is New York City. You can find anything you want in New York City at different price ranges. So investigate, ask questions. Once you begin the process of asking questions or a journey to decide that you wanna be a writer, believe me, the universe will come to you and bring you information more and more till you get to where you need to be. I'd like to read an excerpt from my book, Mirrors, Reflection of a Woman. So um, the piece I'm going to read is a short piece, but it's one of my favorites. And I think it's the essence of what is in the entire book. The piece is called Heartbeat. Your true self will follow the echo of your soul's cry for freedom. Listen to its sound. It's the, the sound of, of harmony, of being in perfect tune with the universe. Do not in, impose a song on your soul. Follow its melody and its rhythm and change will come at its own pace. It's not outside force, but inner longings that set the process of change in motion. <laughs> if you do not know who you are, you're incapable of leading yourself to who you are meant to be. For force only perpetuates a false sense of reality. Let yourself be led. Dance to the rhythm of your soul. For to do otherwise <laughs> is to go against the beating of your own heart. <laughs>